Hi, it's so great to have y'all back joining us. And I'm joined today by Vivian. And Vivian's uh, just a, a wonderful longtime friend and client who uh, has known for quite a while. And uh, I'd love you to share just a little bit about, um, well, when you first came to the studio, you really had chronic sacral issues. But I'd love you to, why don't you just say a little bit about, you know, your journey. Well, it, it's been a long journey. So um, when I started with Wendy, it was because I had been told that I needed back surgery. And um, I definitely had chronic lower back pain. And over the years, I have learned how to handle um, connecting with my, my body so that I can help myself instead of waiting for the issue to become a really painful one. Mm -hmm. And so recently I told Wendy about how I had had a flare start and using the techniques that she's taught me over the years I've been able to put a stop to it within about four days. Mm -hmm. And it's nice to know that I can take the lessons she's taught me, put them into use in my real life and not have to feel horrible. Wow. Yeah, that's fabulous. And this, this is in the midst of a very busy life. Yeah, but that's everybody's life is that way these days. You know, but so much tension in that we hold in the back, sacrum, neck, shoulders, all this. And just how do we unravel that, you know, in a way that can be simple sometimes, but seems very complex at the time. Yeah, this was definitely simple. Yeah, yeah. So, um... So Vivian is going to lie down and actually show you what she did, and then I'll give you a little bit of a background to uh, a sensation to where her hands are in her spine and that sort of thing. So good. So Mr. Bowens has joined us for this little segment that we're doing. In order to really uh, give a demonstration of what do we mean by spinal articulation? by the arch and curl, which is something that Vivian's going to show you. What does it mean to articulate the sacrum in relationship to the pelvic bones? What is that? And how does the sacrum, which is a very movable joint, it has many articulations. It can move, and that's why it can get stuck so easily in different positions. So when you get more in touch with how your body can move more fluidly, which is really what Vivian is, is talking about, how to get out of holding ourselves when we get into tension and how to create release by getting more in touch with gravity, the support of gravity. Notice how she has a lot of surface to support her. And now she's going to show us some of the things that she did that will then create a little more context around. So the first thing I did was an exercise that I think was one of the first ones you taught me, and that's the pelvic clock. So if you imagine a clock face on your pelvis with six o'clock being down towards your feet and 12 o'clock being up towards your navel, if you just rock gently back and forth and you can exhale and then inhale or vice versa whatever feels good back and forth a couple of times and then to three o'clock left uh, right side and nine o'clock left side so side to side rocking again breathe into the middle breathe out to go down or vice versa depending and so I did that a few times and then I took my hands and put them under my sacrum so you just slide your hands under and that um, allows a little bit of freedom of space um, but everything is anchored so my shoulders are anchored my hips are anchored and then i would slide my feet out slowly not using my leg muscles but just letting them slide and then i just lay there and I did talk to my sacrum and tell it it didn't need to hold tight because the rest of the committee has to show up to do its job. Um, 
I tell Wendy that I look at the body as a committee and sometimes some members are overzealous. And so uh, my sacrum just needed to, to relax and let the rest of the committee do its job. So this is not a small thing. This is not a small thing that Vivian just did. And the fact that she's talking to her body and the fact that she showed, gave her sacrum that kind of support and said, then I just rested. So much is happening when we create the setup, allow the support, allow the release to happen. Very different than stretching. I don't stretch. I look at balancing my body, and that's what Vivian just did. It's very, very powerful. So, so much is happening around release, and that's why her sacrum was able to find, to reconnect with the rest of her body rather than holding. And the other piece that was very powerful that Vivian shared with you is how instead of pushing from her leg muscles to extend her legs, what she did was create release. Her leg released from her pelvis. That's a very, di that's a very different distinction than overusing your quads to straighten your legs. And uh, that's a distinction that we will build on, we'll bridge to in another video where we'll look at how your legs are connected. When you get in touch with this, how your legs are connected through your midline through the internal midline so that you sense the lift that happens through the leg, through the pelvic floor, adductors, front of the pelvic floor, through the front of the spine, up. You get in touch with a very, very powerful whole body way of supporting your leg, how your arms, your legs, this is how the body discovers its whole. And that's something we're going to bridge into in a next video as we speak about the, how the legs deeply connect through the spine to the midline, how, how we get that connection on a deeper and deeper level through the psoas, through the crura, the roots of the diaphragm, to the inner ear. How does that occur? So thank you so much, Viv. Thank you. So just stunning. So beautiful. Thank you, and we'd love to hear from you. Bye.